The topic of today's webinar is a story of middle-sized powder coating producer, which it took only two and a half months to deliver a new technological solution to a key customer. This powder coating producer has been receiving from time to time re customer requests for anti-starting powder coatings. These requests were non-regular and they did not fit into product strategy of the producer. The situation changed overnight when an inquiry came from the key customer the producer cannot ignore. The situation became important and the solution had to be world-class. After evaluating different options available on the market, the producer has chosen to bore Matrix 815 Beta, a concentrate of carbon nanotube. It took only two and a half months from the day the producer received the samples of Tubal nanotubes concentrate to the day it was able to deliver samples of anti-static powder coatings for the customer to test. Hello, my name is Ahar Bolshakov. I'm Vice President of Oxial, the producer of Tubal carbon nanotubes. I'm responsible for product development and polymers. And today I will talk about what made this story possible. Carbon nanotubes themselves are unique material. We produce single wall carbon nanotubes under the brand Tubal. You can envision them as a very thin rolled up sheets of graphene. To transfer unique properties of carbon nanotubes to the polymer they apply to, we have to create 3D network of nanotubes within this polymer. So that was the reason why Oxial have heavily invested not only in the production of nanotubes but also into the dispersion technologies. Tubal Matrix is a line of concentrates of tubal nanotubes to provide easy to apply electroconductive properties to a wide range of polymers. For powder coating, we designed already mentioned Tubal Matrix 815 Beta. It is based on polyethylene wax and has powder form to be easily extruded. It could be applied to epoxy polyester or epoxy polyester system. So what made that story possible? What made that uh, powder coating producer to be able to deliver a new technological solution for anti-starting powder coating to the heat customer only within two and a half months? Well, first, there was no change in the process. Tubal matrix has to be applied during the pre-mixing stage. Within Oxial, we don't even have processing guidelines for the tubal matrix to be applied to powder coatings. It's quite straightforward. Second is full range of resistivity. The customer will give him two sets of samples to test. Anti-static powder coating with the surface resistivity 10 to the power of 8 and surface resistivity 10 to the power of 6. Different colors for the customer to choose. The graphs of this slide show what is possible to obtain with tubal nanotubes in terms of preserving the color while achieving electrical conductivity. And fourth, preserved mechanical properties. The data here show that neat powder coating has the same performance as anti-static powder coatings on adhesion and pack resistance and cupping tests. The data from this test were quite important for the customer to move further in product adoption. There are a number of conductive agents available on the market. Let's start with carbon black. Carbon black is highly cost efficient, but it's played short when it comes to preserving mechanical properties having possibility to have different colors and having a clean production. I also have to mention that since you have to add a lot of carbon black, that would decrease your fluidity of the melt and thus limiting the range of possible resistivity. Conductive mica, high performance conductive agent, but it's quite expensive and reserved for niche applications. In contrast to bone nanotubes, a well-rounded conductive agent with quite good performance on all key parameters. So how do you start your project? First, go to our website www.tubol.com and learn more about Tubol Matrix. The links are provided in the, in the description to this video. Contact our local representative to discuss the case and get the samples of Tubol Matrix concentrate. And follow our starting testing points depending on the range of resistivity you need. Before I end, I want to make a special note on how to measure resistivity. Results may vary significantly depending on the equipment and procedure you follow. Therefore, if you write the request to us, we will send you Oxial electrical resistivity measurement guidelines, 
which outline the best practices as well as mistakes to avoid. Thank you and looking forward to have you back and watch other videos in our channel.